Hello and welcome to another video by New York Stilo and today we're going to talk about the 90 gallon system. We're going to do a quick update and I'm going to tell you guys, uh, you know, give you guys information about the changes that have happened to the system and I'm also going to get into uh, some of the changes that are going to happen in the near future and we're going to talk about the overall progress of the system including the fact that I sold some of the animals. Um, I sold about five fish, the carpet anemone, and um, I sold about two inches off of my deep sand bed, and we're going to cover that in the video a little later on. I, I also wanted to talk about uh, some of the changes that I'm going to be doing to the overall system, and uh, for future videos, I'm going to be releasing a video talking about acrylic tanks versus glass tanks. I'm going to cover that in details for those of you who are just getting into this hobby and uh, for you guys to have a general idea on which, 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 you know, which way you want to go. And I'm also going to do a full review on that video of this 90 gallon tech tank. I'm going to be covering the main reason why I got this system itself. You know, from the black silicone to the very skinny overflow box to the fact that it has two holes and two, uh, two drains and two returns and we're also going to cover uh, the Eurobrace style and the Starfire glass. I mean, there's, if this is not your ordinary 90 gallon uh, tank. This is actually an oceanic tech tank. So be on the lookout for that video. We've got many more videos to come guys and we're going to discuss that towards the end of the video. Uh, you know, some of the uh, future videos to come. So, uh, we're going to start out by talking about it's a bit of a long story, uh, you know, with uh, the fact that I sold some of the fish. And what happened was that I, t you know, to make a long story short, I took a cab um, about a week and a half ago. And, you know, the cab driver was like, well, where are we going? And I'm like, we're going to Yonkers. There's a local live fish store in Yonkers. It's called Exotic Pet Warehouse. And, you know, when I told him that, you know, the guy was like, you know, he started talking to me. He told me he has a 180 gallon reef and he um, has not added any fish to the system, has not, uh, you know, done any changes or anything of the sort. And uh, what's interesting is that this guy was like, you know what? He was like, let's go to different uh, pet stores. So we went to like three different pet stores and the tab for the cab would have been like a hundred bucks seriously but um you know he didn't charge me or anything like that and um we went to several places and he asked me to do him a favor and come over and take a look at his tank so when i got to his house he's got a 180 gallon system with all the right equipment no fish inside no lights on the right the live rock was bleached and i said what's going on so he's like oh man i had an egg problem and he lost all his fish about a year ago and he just completely let go of the system and left it as is so eventually uh we got down and dirty and of course me with my enthusiasm about marine systems i got him uh to buy um some sand and stuff like that uh from the local fish store and get a system ready you know we talked about deep sandbits and stuff like that so when we got his system ready which i spent about an hour and a half in his house you know when he finally took me over to my house he came upstairs and absolutely fell in love with the 90 gallon system he was like I can't believe you have that many fish in there uh, you know stuff like that and then he would not let go of the fact that he wanted to buy some of my fish me I, you, you guys know me already I'm not the one to sell anything on my system or equipment or anything like that but uh, this guy would not let go and I kind of wanted to help him out and considering the fact that I have to take everything out of this system for approximately a couple of hours if not a day in order for me to replace the stand down here I thought about it you know and I was like you know what and and I mean he gave me a deal he, he gave me an offer that I, I could not refuse it was like the godfather guys for real I mean, he offered me $1,000 for two inches of my deep sand bed so that he can properly seed his. He took my Moorish Idol, my Flame Angel, my Coral Beauty, one of the cleaner shrimps. He took the Fairy Wrasse. Um, he took the Carpet Anemone. 
And he took one piece of rock from my system. And he gave me $1,000. So with that, you know, I figured I said, well, you know, I can either buy the stand that I plan to replace this one, which we're going to get into uh, the filtration in a minute. And, um, you know, he was mesmerized with my system. And let me tell you this, guys. If you guys have a system in your home, it will, it will steal the show. People that come to my house, they talk more about the tank than they pay attention to me. You know, it's like... They, they, they want to know how much is it, which, by the way, I'm going to be releasing uh, two videos in the near future about, uh, you know, how much is the total system cost of this one and the 30-gallon uh, tank. I've gotten several questions about that as well. So, uh, the interesting thing about this particular system is that I have not done water changes for more than six months. Now, guys, you know, this is not, I'm not trying to tell you that you can go ahead and not do water changes in your system but uh because i definitely do not recommend a beginner to do water changes i mean to not do water changes in your system but it is possible for you to turn a uh saltwater aquarium into a full-blown ecosystem where you do not have to do water changes i have no nitrates no uh phosphates none of that stuff but you have to keep in mind no one system is the same as another what works for me may not work for you and you're gonna hear me say that a lot to you guys in my future videos because um, you have to try to replicate in its entirety everything that I've done here uh, oversized skimmer uh, deep sand bed below plus the uh, huge amount of Morpha. which by the way this refugium area just the refugium alone the deep sand bed is 18 inches uh, by um, it's 18 inches wide and then from front to back is 14 inches so the Cato Morpho alone is like the size of two footballs in there it actually looks a lot smaller than it is on the video but it's actually quite huge and the Cato Morpho itself has been able to sustain the system I don't I haven't even cleaned the glass on this um, on this uh, the refugium area absolutely you know, it maintains itself. There's so much Cato Morpha in there. Uh, the fact that I've got an oversized skimmer, which, by the way, let me tell you this. A refugium, when properly set up with lots of Cato Morpha, will actually put your skimmer to shame. It will slow down the production of the skimmer. And that is because the uh, macroalgae, when grown in massive quantities and lighted for 24 hours a day, will consume almost everything out of the system you know e even even considering the fact that I feed my fishes two to three times a day seriously guys I feed my fishes before I leave I feed my fishes when I come home and I feed my fishes uh, before I go to bed but just because I feed three times a day does not mean that I feed large amounts of food you know when I feed them and by the way let me just grab some food here to make everybody sort of come out and just uh, put some food in here quickly. Just to sort of make everybody come out. And there's a little bit of food up there and you can see the health of a fish is just... Um, and you know what? He tried to take... This guy, the cab driver tried to offer me extra money for my black and white clowns and I was like, that is a no-no. These black and white clowns have grown. They're, every fish in here actually looks like it's smaller than it is in the video. The, the bigger black and white clown is probably about three and a half inches when the smaller one is like three inches. And this other clown, the, the regular trupecula up here, is actually like four inches. Not to mention the fox face is like eight inches. The purple tang is six inches. Uh, the the powder blue is uh, about six inches. You know, every fish in here is actually pretty big. And there's actually, there's about 12 fish in there. And, you know, I also wanted to quickly state that I wanted to get rid of the carpet anemone. And I told the guy, be careful with the carpet anemone because the carpet anemone did swallow one of my, um, he, he actually ate up one of my uh, chromuses in here. You know, I found him. Uh, you know when the carpet anemone spits out the food it, it was cut the, the entire fish was dissolved 
and you can see the skeleton when he spit it out. I was like, I can't believe it. So the system has been doing extremely well. No phosphates in the sand, none of that stuff. Um, that is one of the reasons why this guy wanted some of my sand, and I really hooked him up. I mean, it sounds like a lot for $1,000, but the Moorish Idol itself, considering the size that it was, plus, and he will do very well in that 180-gallon system. Let me tell you guys, I, I spoke to him about him allowing me to go to his house and take a video of his system with some of my fish in there. And he was like, okay, you know, um, uh, you know, we'll find some time so you can come over and take a video. But he was more happy about the fact that he just got all the fish. So I'm going to see if I could actually take a video of his system and show you guys. Oh, there's my royal grandma in the back in the middle, always hiding, but comes out when there's food. So, um, I will be replacing the fish in the system. Absolutely. I will not be without my flame angel. That was one, that was the last fish that we actually uh, talked about giving to him. But uh, the Morris Idol itself easily goes for like $300. At the size that I had it, plus the fact that he was already uh, accustomed to being in an enclosed system, especially a smaller system like this, you know, then going to 180 gallons. So he gave me $1,000 for the sand, the um, carpet anemone, one of the blood shrimps, and uh, uh, five fish in total. So also considering that I'm going to be doing some major changes to the system where I have to take everything out of the system, the rocks, everything needs to go. And I've got here, I'm getting ready to do that, and I'm going to be documenting that on YouTube. I've got two 20 gallon uh, tubs and one 40 gallon tub here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the uh, live sand in the bottom and the live rock on the 40 gallon tub with uh, system water. And then in the other two, I'm gonna put the fishes divided. And we're gonna, we're gonna you know, I, I plan on even building a bigger sump refugium area where I can house the skimmer in the first stage and that's going to be a whole nother documentation on YouTube. So be sure to check out those videos. Now, um, one thing that I wanted to quickly state, if you can see here the rocks. Oh, and, and I did give him one piece of rock. And you're going to see a lot less rocks in the system because uh, two or three of the pieces of rock were taken and put in the 30-gallon system. So I plan on adding a few more pieces of live rock. And uh, before I... Um, talk about some of the future videos it's important for me to let you guys know that if you notice this system this system only has three pieces of rock sitting in the sand and there's actually quite a, a small bit of surface area you know uh, considering that it's sitting in the sand and that's important and when you aqua, aquascape your tank and I'm gonna do a video on that as well plus a video on live rock itself um, it's important to have brittle stars below because when the live rock is sitting on top of the sand, um, there's actually like three, uh, three or four different brittle stars in my system. They do, they do an excellent job at keeping the sand bay uh, clean, especially under the rocks. So um, many more videos to come, guys. Um, I'm going to do a video. I've gotten quite a few uh, questions on the Reef Keeper Light. We're going to break that down. I'm going to show you guys how to how I have it installed in the system and what it can do for you and what it cannot do for you. I'm also going to be covering uh, a glass tanks versus acrylics. I mean, I have a whole list of videos, including some um, uh, requests from different people. And if I don't do your video right away, please know that there was other videos in front of those. But um, I will be making those videos in the future. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, be sure to rate my videos, thumbs up, thumbs down, doesn't matter to me. Uh, rate my videos, subscribe if you like my videos, and be sure to check out my channel. I have a lot of educational videos uh, on different subjects, and I'm sure there's probably one or two videos in there that you'll find informative. So with that said, hope you've enjoyed the video. New York Stilo signing out. Many more videos to come. Stay tuned, guys. Peace.